when, um, when we're looking at this angle, we know, well, actually, let's talk about this. So here's the way I think about a radian, all right? So a radian sounds very similar to like a radius, right? Very similar. And it does have the same properties, but it's a little bit different, right? Radian, radius. So it's like, well, how can we, where can I think about that? And the way that I think about that is I think of a radius as like a hard pasta noodle, OK? Hard pasta noodle. If you guys try to bend a hard pasta noodle, like spaghetti noodle, it's going to snap and break, right? However, you drop it into hot water, right? And now it's mellow. Now you can like wrap it around your finger. It's still the same pasta noodle, but it just kind of has some different properties now, right? So the radius is the measurement from the center of the circle to any point on the circle. If I kind of drop that radius in hot water, I can kind of wrap it around the circle. And if I took this radius and wrapped it around the circle and rotated that radius to create two rays, I would now have created an angle that we refer to as one radian. Notice there's no unit, there's no like degree symbol there. It's literally just a radian. Now, let's think about our idea of angles here. And what measurement would you guys kind of say that is in degrees? Like what estimate would you guys maybe say? Like there's 30. We know half of it is 90. What do you guys think about that one? 60, 50, 75? OK. So later, I'm going to leave this up on the board. Later, we'll actually figure out what that is. Okay. Um, but let's just kind of keep on doing more radians. Because we could rotate one radius around the arc. What happens if we do two? So if we rotated it from there to there, that would be an angle. Let me do it right here. Where theta is equal to two radians. So that rotation from there to there. And then let's look at three. And if you look at three, you're like, oh, that almost looks like that's halfway around a circle. And but we realize eh, it's a little bit short, just a little bit short, just a sliver. And then we think, why did mathematics have to be like that? Why couldn't it be three radiuses wrapped around the circle is perfectly half a circle? Well, don't you think the math would be so much nicer if you're like, oh, halfway around the circle is three radiuses, right? Or three radians. And then all the way around the circle is six. Like We could calculate so many things so easily if we just knew that it, whatever the circumference of a circle was just six, right? Half of the circumference was just three radiuses wrapped around the circle, right? It'd be nice like that. It'd be great. But we realize there's this section here that we don't have, right? And in geometry class or in Algebra 2, when we do this, I would actually give students a string so they can see that it, is, it does fall short. It doesn't work. You can't grab your radiuses and get exactly three. There's this little, 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 tiny extra bit that does not fit, right? And so therefore, that's our issue. We have this decimal, right, or this fractional part here that is going to take us to halfway around a circle. So we know that halfway around a circle is 180 degrees. So now we got to think about, well, then how many radians is it? It's three radians plus this little fractional part, which maybe many of you are familiar with, which is, represents as pi. So this little section is the 0.14159 dot, dot, dot. That's where that portion comes from. So that's why that's pi, because pi is 3.14. So basically, a way to think of pi, because I don't, like the I don't like the definition of pi as far as circumference divided by diameter. Like It's still, it doesn't really tell us what pi is. The way that I think of pi is, pi is the number of radiuses that it takes to wrap around half of a circle. So the number of radiuses it takes to give us half of a circle. That's our understanding of pi. It's the number of radians it takes to go from halfway around a circle. And that's helpful because if we know that 180 is equal to pi, and then we know that 360 degrees is all the way around a circle, well then from here to here is pi. That means from, there, from here to here is going to be 2 pi. Right? Yeah. 
Oh. Okay. Cool.